Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome to the Wales campaign. We are back and look at this, we have an army here by Prince David besieging Carlisle. Carlisle has very little in the way of decent units, of peasant archers. So we're going to try and take that this turn. But look at this, they have uh, an army reinforcing. But this army has peasants, look at this, archer militia, spear militia and peasants. Not much to be wary of, even the general I think is a... Uh, is a relatively weak general, so I think we're going to try and leave Carlisle because we could assault Carlisle now, but we would have to deal with the general. Although, saying that, we could probably take that. I don't know, would he actually be on the map? Let's attack Carlisle. Would he reinforce? That's what I'm trying to say, basically. He wouldn't reinforce. Okay, this is excellent. We can actually do a, a, type, a type. We can do a knight battle with the Prince of Wales, Prince David take Carlisle and then sally out and take out this peasant army from the English. So we're going to do that in this episode. We're going to fight on the battle map and we're hopefully going to take this land for ourselves. Medieval 2 Total War Britannia campaign rages on on this channel and boy oh boy it's been a fantastic campaign so far and the support I have to say it the support has been fantastic some great comments from you guys as always and I really appreciate it. I know a lot of YouTubers say that you know, they always say, oh, I really appreciate your, appreciate your videos, you are awesome, and all that crap, and, you know, I mean, you guys really rock, you do, you do, uh, you do me a very proud service uh, on this channel, and I can't really say any more than that, really. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is going to group up, oh shit, wrong button, group up these units like so, just put them behind, get my generals, get the Prince of Wales into position, let's get a decent formation, that's not good enough, that's better. Start the battle. Both rams get ramming. And we have some peasant archers there. Uh, so we're going to group up our archers. going to make sure they have everything on fire. And we are going to be trading blow for blow with them. With our archers, we have very good scythe wearer bowmen and hell wearer bowmen. They only have the, the uh, general's bodyguard and the archer militia. This is militia. Peasants. Peasants, I should say. They are peasants. They're not going to be any match for our our units. We outrange them, and we are much, much better troop quality. So it should be a very, very short and breezy battle for us. Um, they do have towers, which I'm going to have to be wary of. They will probably take out a couple of my units, so I need to get in as quickly as I can and take the gatehouse. So we're going to fast forward this. My bowmen, of course, out of range. Doesn't matter, we're going to ram with the one. We're actually going to drop this ram there because we just got it just in case. I could have rammed the wall down perhaps, but there's no need. I mean, we just need to break it down once. Don't want to cause unnecessary damage. I could have, of course, flanked from this side. I haven't been doing much flanking on my on my sieges. I've been trying kind to been trying to uh, basically outnumber the English and do it that way. Anyway, are we going to start ramming? I think we are. Yes, we are. They're going to ram and they're going to try and get themselves in. Which is, of course, fantastic for us. And hopefully take out some of their units. Uh, but don't worry, their bow units have gone. Where are they? I appear to have lost them. Oh, they're at the back. They're hiding at the back. That's fine by me. What I'm going to be doing is bringing up my melee troops into position as well. They can get some kills for themselves. The generals come forward a little bit. We're going to kill every Englishman in the settlement. We're going to continue the battle and kill them all. There we go. I want to get some good traits for my generals. That is, that is the aim, basically. I'm going to actually group up these two now as well. I'm actually going to do this. Oh shit, do on that. Get the four of them grouped up. Even better. They're going to go in to the gatehouse. And the Bowmans can actually start attacking the units there. And this is very good for us. We're outnumbering them. We have very good troop compositions. We're going to take the gatehouse. And this is how you do a straightforward battle. I'm hoping to do this without losing too many men. I want to take out that peasant army then next. So the aim will be to not lose unnecessary uh, infantry. We're going to need them against the peasants. And there we go. The peasant archers are coming forward now. And they are going to be attacking me shortly. There's 57 of them all together. So they're not too much of an issue. Our bows are going to start firing. 
Here we go. Arrows in the air. Let's see if we get some kills. Fingers crossed. I think they're all missing, are they? Come on, you can do better than that. Still 57 of them. I think it's because there's a bit of a hill, but they, they are shooting uphill. And they are firing on me now as well. Which isn't good. Oh, we got loads of kills there. Two, three, four dead, I think. That's a lot better. My infantry is marching into a position. I'm going to tell my infantry to go into a single file formation. And actually break forward now with my infantry because my their cavalry is actually attacking me. They've come out, they sallied out. All my infantry can engage the cavalry. I think we've done good enough here. Brought all my bows back and now my bill men. Oh, the hell are they? That's not a problem. The hell are the weaker bow unit anyway. The two strongest ones are back. And the infantry can catch the cavalry. While the bows can continue to fire upon their bows. Merry nice beamen again in there. They'll cause the difference between the heavy cav. Horses are going down now. Once they get in there. And my general's going to come up as well. Where is he? He's walking. He's just dilly dallying his way there at the moment. Not an issue. Let's see. 21 remaining. Oh, there we go. Oh, and the general's dead. Look at that. They'll soon rout. And we shall take them out. They're routing. Look at that. He's gone. I mean, if he can push on, my bows can trade. Arrow to arrow fire. And we're actually going to chase them down with my cavalry. Two generals' bodyguards can chase them down and probably do the rest of the damage for me. Infantry, I want them to engage the male, engage the male knights. We're going to fast forward this now to speed the campaign up a little bit. There we go. I'm actually going to. Oh shit! Wrong button. I'm actually going to tell my bow units to halt and to turn around. They're not needed now. They aren't needed indeed. Peasant archers are going to be gone any second. Or my infantry to counteract this now and go past the archers and actually attack the mailed knights. The cavalry can take out the archers, no problem. 45 remaining. Big massive mosh pit of blood and death. Which is nice for me. Not nice for them. 40 remaining, 10 remaining. Balance of power is uh, pretty even according to this. Oh, nope, the feat is imminent. Lost their general. They're going to lose Carlisle as well. Kill them all. Bodyguards can push through. Take on the mailed knights. Come on. They should be gone by now. Let's just fast forward. Of the city. There we go. We're in command of the city now. Four remaining. Do not stand a chance today. Six peasant archers remaining. Three cavalry units. Come on, engage. English bill many to engage as well. Fast forward. There we go. All done. So we lost 41. Not too bad. Still got over 300 remaining. And they they uh, lost all their men. We took the settlement relatively easily. Which is very nice for us indeed. So, there we go. I'm going to ransom them. they rejected, of course. And we've taken Carlisle from the English. We now share a border with Scotland. Look at that. The whole left-hand side of, of uh, England and Wales has been taken over by me now. Occupy. Oh, actually, I want to sack the settlement. I want to sack the settlement because it's uh, mainly it's English held. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we only have 6% population. Scottish have 19%. We can, of course, retrain. We can recruit a merchant. We can get... Convert a wood, wooden castle would be useful. And it would take me... No, we don't. Actually, do we want to do that? No, we don't. We're happy enough to keep it as a town. A brothel would be useful. Recruits a spy and some land clearance. Land clearance would be useful at this stage. We'll go for that. But we're not going to stay here. We're going to be sallying out against this English army. They could besiege me and I could attack them that way. And force them to attack me, but I don't want to be leaving them there for too long. I don't know what they have up yes, here. That's why I'm sending Madog to go and investigate for me. My diplomat can be used as a spy just to see what's in the region there. We will be signing out uh, any moment now, but I'm going to actually have a quick little overview of what I've done on this map so far. So we are besieging here. I'm happy to let them come out and attack me because they have bugger all there. Again, we have longbowmen, town militiamen, spear militia, the armoured sergeants. Only 19 of them, but they could cause me one or two headaches. I'm happy for them to come out and attack me, and then I can use this army to reinforce the south, 
keep reinforcing the south and keep taking everything from the English. That is the aim. King Llewellyn, I don't want him to, to stay at London for too long. He could actually come out now and attack. Captain Caradog's on his way to London. We've put down all the um, armies around here, I think. Although I'm not 100% sure what's around this dark area. So there could be something hiding around this area, which I'm not happy about. I need to get something around here quickly to look for me. Do I have movement points? I do have movement points with this ballista unit. I don't mind wasting a ballista to just look and investigate up here. Right, up until this point. This dark area I'm concerned about. There could be an English army up here. That does concern me slightly. A couple of spies in the area. Of course, I'm besieging Canterbury as well. If I take Canterbury, we will be looking very good indeed. Not much of an army reinforcing can deal with that as well. So I'm just... What I'm going to do, I'm going to move this spy. Let's have a look. Right, this spy is going to go up here. As far as there. Right, army there, Captain Robert. Not a problem. This spy can go to Norwich for me. Keep an eye on them. Just doing this to see... We'll get the better overview of the map. I want to quickly look at this as well. So let's see. Uh, regions controlled 14 altogether, and we need to get 25, including um, London and Dublin. Of course, Dublin's going to be the last one I take in this campaign. I'll get a ship there eventually. The ship is docked up here in the south. I'll get a few more ships eventually. No need to worry about it for now, though, because we are, of course, going to take all the land from England on the mainland. So that's what I'm going to aim to do. Uh, this army could, in, in fact, go to Oxford to help the public order, because they are a little bit pissed at me at the moment, probably because I've killed a bunch of them. Uh, although we are recruiting stuff here. We can get some uh, English ma uh, mailed knights, but I'm not going to do that. Captain Caradog is going to go for London. King Llewellyn can take London as well. Arundel is happy, Winchester is happy enough. Oxford isn't, but they will be soon. Uh, these mailed knights got free upkeep there. Keep them there for now in case something comes along. It's these dark areas I'm worried about. I need to get some intelligence. But anyway, now enough is enough. That's enough talking. It's time to sally out of Ox uh, Oxford. Sally out of Carlisle and try and take on Captain Sinegar in an open field battle. So I'm going to take Prince David. Bring him out of the settlement. Like so. Carlisle isn't happy, which is understandable. That might go down next turn. Let's have a look. Fear. Uh, insurgents. No governance, which takes a little bit of it away. And the distance to the capital, of course. So, I could put him on a low tax rate. That would probably help him a little bit. For now, at least. But now we have battle time. Five to four. I could attack in the night. And I get an extra star. They outnumber us. They outnumber us. But we have the better army strength ratio. We're going to fight this one. Open field battle time. The Prince of Wales. Hopefully he won't die in this battle. I'm confident. I'm quietly confident. That we can win this battle and move on with the campaign. To my knowledge, this will be my gateway to the north. Right by winning this battle. Right. Night time. We're attacking them. we got to go to them. Nice hill to work with here. This is not a bad position. they got lots of trees. Let's get the bowmen. Let's group them up. Put them into a single line. Right at the front here. And then these two can deploy stakes. That will do for now. Generals got to be grouped up as well. We'll look for the archer militia and use them uh, that way. Put them into a nice formation on the hill. And then all the infantry is going to be grouped. Nice straight formation behind. And then I think that is it. Is that all of them? Yeah, there's a small unit here of militiamen. Uh, only four of them, but I don't care. That's fine by me. Let's start the battle. I don't think they're going to come towards me. My aim was to get them to attack me, but that's not going to happen. Are they to be way, uh, scared of? I don't think they are. So what I'm going to do in that case is bring my bow units forward slightly. I'm actually going to bring the infantry up just behind the stakes. And the generals can go down the right flank for me. Yep, that'll do. 
the aim will be to, if, if we need to go back, because don't forget, we're going to have to kill a lot of men with this army. They outnumber us. We need to kill two men per, per man, basically. That will be the aim in this battle. And this is one of the most important battles in this campaign so far. It involves the Prince of Wales himself. And it involves a very small army against a much larger one. If we take this this army out, we've taken Carlisle already, if we take this army out then we will be looking very good indeed in this campaign. I'm actually doing this now, I'm just going to march them slowly just to gain intelligence on where they are. They have Archer Militia and Longbowmen there. Longbowmen there as well and it looks like they might be reacting to this. They are reacting indeed, I don't know what they're doing though. Switch your men around maybe, I don't know. Right, spear militia on the right flank. Cavalry's going to have to be very careful. Go into that right flank. What I'm going to do in that case is march them to this hill here. They've got a nice little flat bit of ground to to charge at. Just going to walk them for now. Just, just be safe in the knowledge that I have cavalry on the flank if needed. The infantry is going to be involved in this battle, I think. So we're going to move them slightly to the left and just behind my bows. I have lots of bows to work with, so I'm going to actually move to the left as well. I think the left flank would be probably the most, or probably the biggest flank for me to take. Of course, we're going to march them. I'm not going to throw away men for the sake of it, like I usually do. <laughs> we're going to try and kill, kill, and kill. I know they have the weakest unit of the of the uh, of the bows here. And they are now starting to come out with longbowmen. This is what I wanted. Look at this. No, they're not. They don't know what they're doing. If I could persuade them to f uh, follow me, I could charge them with the cavalry. But that's fine. The aim of the cavalry to be will be to either disrupt them, take out the general themselves, two to one, or take on the bows and take them out with a couple of charges. Not going to waste units. We're not far off range as well with some of these units. Only just outside the zone. In that case, let's deploy a bit faster. And let's fast forward. Not going to waste too much time talking. There we go, right. They're coming out with Archer Militia now. That's perfect. Pull back. Pull back. Don't need to get involved in a charge with them. The general's going to be behind their lines now anyway. Let them waste their arrows. Armoured sergeants are going to cause me a headache. Are they following? They're still following. Good. General's in a half decent position. It's the Archer Militia that's mainly uh, taking, taking their time to follow me. It's all the Archer Militia actually. Spear Militia along the line. I'm actually going to bring the cavalry a bit nearer. I'm going to walk them into position. My bows will of course start firing soon. Once they get into position, they can actually start firing on the Archer Militia. We've, t we've pulled one out into range. They're exposed the where they are. Cavalry's going to be pretty close as well. There we go. They're exposed. They're going to take death. Death to the Englishman. And they're down to 48 after one volley. Pull them out into a good position. Longbowmen are going to be reinforcing. That's fine. Cavalry's going to be charge in a matter of fact it might be worth going for a charge if we can bring them further to me let's bring the infantry even further back and let's minimize our losses by going to a loose formation with our bows longbowmen on the way I'm gonna go for a charge with the two cavalry units now that's close enough for me they're, they're long they're further enough away from the main line I think so it's worth going for a cavalry charge but I can't dwell too long The loose formation should be good enough. I'm of course keeping an eye on the Prince of Wales, don't want to lose him needlessly. Rally and cry. 
Might get a charge in. Come on, get a charge. Clean charge you want, guys. That wasn't good enough. Oh, yes, it was. You've routed one. Cavalry is so unpredictable. Right, retreat. Pull back. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, go to the right we'll flank. The Run to the right flank. Come on. Turn and quickly go. <laughs> That's good enough for me. We've taken one of them out and we're still firing. I think they've come back. No, they've actually gone. We've taken out a longbowman unit straight away with one charge. Probably wasn't the best of charges, but I don't mind. Expertly taken out. <laughs> Continue to fire upon the archer militia. We're taking some of them out again. That's... Uh far enough for my horses they can relax don't think I lost a man then with the cavalry as well so I'm happy enough with that and they're charging now so we're actually going to not aim for them anymore we're going to be aiming for the longbowmen they're in range we've got this nice hill to work with our, our cavalry is in a decent position to charge our infantry is also in a good position to charge here we go two separate charges now This suits me very much. This definitely suits me. They are routing already. And these will route as well. Take them off fire at will so I don't lose my own men. We've got to pull back now. Cavalry has to pull back. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, pull them to the left flank. The routed another one. Don't think they're going to come back. Still haven't lost a horse yet, which I'm happy about as well. And I think they might be charging me now. So what I'm going to do is get the bows lined up behind these uh, stakes. And my bowmen can be put back on to fire at will. I'm going to be moving my infantry uh, slightly closer to the action. And the cavalry can sit on the left flank where they are right now. We have spear militia on the way. We have everything coming at us, I think. They're out of longbowmen, I think. Peasants on the way. Well, they do have some longbowmen left, but most of them are gone. This is perfect. Right. My cavalry can veer to the left flank. To start a... Um, a flagging manoeuvre. Can't get my words out today for some reason. I don't know what it is. This suits me. Once we get behind them, I'll take their longbowmen out and hit their general. Although the general has spotted me. We've got the hill advantage, I think. Let's go for it. Charge a general. Come on. Come on, they're only peasants. Oh, flank the general. This, this works for me. Shiltron formation. Hit them, the spear militia. They do have spear militia on that flank as well. The armoured sergeants is what's going to cause me the most trouble. Cavalry units doing okay. Might have to break off with one of them. I'm going to use the general to break off and take on the bows. Going to have to leave the other general there. Three seven of them remaining should be okay. Holding the line, holding the line. We've routed the peasants, turned to fight the spear militia. Longbowmen are going to be gone as well. Their cavalry is now broken off, only three of them remaining. We've routed the longbowmen. We've pushed the English back. We're going to chase their general. Actually, we're not going to chase their general. Their general's going to get himself impaled if he keeps going this way. 
Just keep an eye on him for a second, guys. He's gonna run for it, the stakes. And the bill men have stopped him right at the stakes. The general's gonna die. Two remaining, one remaining. And he's dead. The bill men had him. They, they cornered him against the stakes. The English will surely rout now. They're pushing plenty of them back. The spear militia, the armor sergeants are still there. So I'm actually going to tell my bows to actually fire uh, upon the armored sergeants if I can get get the cursor to do it for me. And I want my cavalry out of there. General, get out of there. I could lose my, one of my generals here if I'm not careful. Run. Run out of there. Yes, I did lose one of my generals. That's what happens when you bring too many peasants to a battle like this. And now we've routed the armoured sergeant. And we've killed all the English. I'm going to go charging against spear militia, am I? We are feeling confident enough. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Let's get the prince out of there. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Let's pursue them. And let's kill them. Oh, that was good. That worked relatively well in the end. General's bodyguard. Fast forward. Kill them all. Whoops. Unfortunately, I lost one general there. Through my own stupidity. Let's chase the armoured sergeants down because they're the best unit. Get all my cavalry to chase them down. There we go. That's more like it. They're the best unit. They're the ones you want to kill. Be a militia, take them out as well. Get that extra bit of experience. Don't care about the peasants, they can go. Absolute slaughter. Take them out. Fast forward. I think I'll do actually guys, so we'll exit the battle. Lost 91, they lost 547. There we go, on the hardest difficulty, I have defeated an army twice my size. And a ransom, because look at that money, ransom. Rejected, so more English to the slaughter. They're gone. And the Prince of Wales lives up to his name. The other general, Bledin Kinfin, died, but his name will live long in the memory of Welsh history. And Prince David is a veteran warrior now, so he's an even better general than what he was. And he can actually go back to Carlisle and stay there for a turn or two now, knowing that our northern kind of settlement is secure. There are some rebels here, but they are peasants mainly. I'm not going to worry too much about them for now. They shouldn't cause us too much trouble, and Carlisle is happy enough. We can probably put the taxes up to normal again. And we will start building some stuff here. We will we'll begin the land clearance in two turns. But I think that's a pretty decent episode so far. We've taken Carlisle. We took out the army. And our border is now split right down the middle. we just got a few more settlements to go. Canterbury, Norwich, London, Nottingham. I think it's York. I think that might be it. Oh, well, there might be another one here. I don't know what this is. Oh, Lincoln, of course. Lincoln and York, so th six to take on the on the mainland, or seven, maybe might be seven actually, and then we should be there. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.